see this lineup card? All the numbers look the same except for one, the number one, which isn't bold like the rest of the card. It's something bench coach Rick Renteria, who creates and posts the lineup each day, never noticed. And why would he? He's the bench coach. But Padres blogger Brady Phelps did notice, and every time a reporter would tweet the lineup card, Phelps would go crazy. The unbolded one. I, I honestly don't know how many times I might have, might have seen it. Uh, I don't traditionally have OCD, but it, it's been bothering me for a long time. I don't know, I saw it, and I think I just sort of jokingly sent out a tweet like, hey Padres, why do you hate the number one? You know, why don't you bold it like the rest of the kids? And, uh, and then it just sort of kind of gained some steam and picked up from there. The one is the runt of the litter, you know? One is the loneliest number. Never one to shy away, Phelps went on a crusade for number equality. I tend to sort of overreact to silly little things that don't really matter much. So I, uh, I continually tweeted about it, you know, for months and months. And then just last week, I decided that I would take a different approach and I would go straight to the man that I can know get things, gets things done in the Padres organization. And so I went to Tom Garfinkel and I sent him a tweet and I just said, Dear Tom Garfinkel, I will donate $100 to the charity of your choice if that is the last unbolded one I see in a lineup card in 2013. Within a week, Padres president and CEO Tom Garfinkel sent a tweet back to Brady. Mission accomplished. Well, I just saw it on Twitter. I think uh, you know, one of the bloggers had sent something on Twitter. I didn't really know what he was talking about at first. Uh, uh, but uh, he said he donates some money to a charity of my choice, so I figured it was worth the uh, 90 seconds of my time to go down and, uh, and change, the, change, the, change the number on the lineup card. And sure enough, Tom came through like I knew that he would, like a champ. And while I was down there in the coach's room, I looked at the, the, the Twitter thing. I said, hey, Ricky, can you pull up the, the lineup card? He did. I said, uh, can you mind bolding that one for me? He looked at me a little silly. I said, look, trust me, not a big deal. Do you mind doing it for me? He said, sure. He bolds it. He said, I didn't even know it was unbolded. Um, this is just the way it was. I said, uh, I didn't either, but I, let me take a picture of it real quick, and I did, and uh, and that's really all there was to it. I actually love what, what Tom Garfield does on Twitter. Tom will find people in the stands here at the game. He'll say, hey, the first person to respond to this tweet, uh, let me know, and I will then upgrade your seats, and I will you know, get you into premier VIP seating when you were sitting up at the nosebleeds, and the way that he interacts with fans, like to me, I think it's very special. Denario Alexander from the Chargers, you know, wanted to take batting practice, and I became aware of that on Twitter. And uh, as soon as he signed his deal with the Chargers, we brought him out and he took BP. Uh, you know, we've had another one where we've asked fans, you know, what kind of food do you want to see at the ballpark? And we get all the responses, Hodads, Hodads. So we put Hodads in the ballpark, and and fans love it. I don't think that there are many ball clubs around the league that have someone that they can not only interact with on Twitter, which is really cool in and of itself, but then interact with face to face here at the ballpark. And it just may be that the bold one has some other benefits as well. I certainly am not going to cl claim to be responsible for the Padres winning. However, since the bold one has been in the lineup card, the Padres went over 500. The Padres swept the Braves and went on to sweep the Diamondbacks, both first place teams. And we're now over 500 for the first time since 2011. This is a big deal. Like, I feel really proud of this team. I'm proud to be a fan of the team. And I'm proud to have that number one bold in the lineup card. As ridiculous as it is, it makes me smile on the inside every day. And it makes me realize that people like Tom Garfinkel, who are way up at the top, are going to listen to the little guy. You know, there was some money donated to stand up to cancer because I took 90 seconds to go down and change the, the number on the lineup card. And, and, uh, and that part of it's fun. Well. Maybe next time I'll put, uh, put uh, Phelps in hidden cleanup or something and tweet that out. I sleep at night like a baby because of the bowl number one. Thank you, Tom Garfinkel. Thank you, Padres, for humoring the poor vlogging soul.